Right, let's take a look at Khan. Um, Khan Film Festival. We'll take a look through Wikipedia first and then on Letterboxd. Um, and I know there's a lot of other things, but Jack, not don't say thank you, Thomas. This isn't... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pleasure, pleasure. God, you guys are... Yeah. I'm not going to say anything. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so here is the uh, the list on Wikipedia, and then we'll take a look at Letterbox. So obviously, there's some other stuff, um, like out of competition. There's Furiosa. There's Horizon, an American saga by Kevin Costner. Sure, this is what yeah, I was talking about. One. Rumors by Guy Medine. Yeah, get yeah. excited, guys! Watch Guy Medine movies. It, it's it has Kate Blanchett and Alicia Vikander. Guy Medine is a genius, like one of the best living directors. Right. I can't say enough good things about Guy Medine. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically, you know, whatever. Uh, oh, also The Balconettes by Nomi Merlant. This is another thing that I want oh, to this bring up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very excited. Love Nomi Merlant. She's looking at me starring. Cool. Fantastic. Let's take a look through competition. So we have All We Imagine as Light. Um, so coming out of Luxembourg. Do we know who this is? A Night of Knowing Nothing. I feel like I've heard this title. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar. Is but, it a Luxembourg film? Uh, it looks produced out of France. Okay, Luxembourg. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't get many films from uh, Yeah, in India, France, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Italy. Yeah. But, there you go. Um, by Routine and Shake the Gift. Yeah, could be interesting. Could be interesting. Could be a tight, tense thriller. Um... So, I, I saw someone in the chat earlier who said that they were potentially going to be predicting that. Okay. I mean, that's the thing with Cannes. A lot of it is just shot in the dark because this is where we're getting yeah. the first reactions for stuff. So, we have no idea what's good and what's bad at this stage. Exactly. Just because it's by accredited name and has a good cast and sounds interesting, could be dog shit. Who knows? For sure. For sure. Um, oh, I'm from Winnipeg. Guy Medina is a Winnipeg filmmaker. Going for goats. Wait, it's not pronounced Madden. It might be Madden. I've just always said Guy Medina because it sounds fun. It sounds but... better. It does sound more exotic that way. <laughs> um, but Guy Medin might be how you say it. it. I don't know. Yeah. I've never talked to him. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay, we have Anora by Sean Baker. It's interesting that this is in competition. Mm -hmm. um, and we really don't know much. Like. Before. Literally, the only thing that I heard about it was that it's going to be starring sex workers and be about sex workers and take place in Las Vegas. So basically, yeah. just a Sean Baker movie. Sean um, Baker's found his nation is right. Yeah. And I love that from him. He does it. Yeah. He would just do whatever. Yeah. 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 Very niche line of films. But uh, I'm here for it. I love Sean Baker. I I mean, like, obviously, the Florida Project is really, really good. Uh, uh, Tangerine's great. I loved, loved Red Rocket. Like I really, yeah. really loved Red Rocket. I got tricked into watching Tangerine at Christmas time because I was like, "Oh, That's this a Christmas is a film movie. set at Christmas." I really about as far from a Christmas film as you can get. It's a Christmas loved movie. Loved it all the same, but I watched it on like Christmas Eve, I reckon, or like the twenty third, something like that. That's a really, really funny movie spirit. to watch on Christmas. Lowered the spirit. <laughs> That's a hilarious movie to watch on Christmas yeah. Eve. Yeah, it was really. It was not the vibe I was looking for, but it was the vibe. That I appreciated all the same. Uh, yeah, lots of people getting very excited about Mikey Madison. Um, so, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, and then we got The Apprentice by Ali Abbasi. So this is our Donald Donald J Trump movie. Um, <laughs> Donald Jesus Trump. Um, <laughs> people aren't gonna know that satire. Some people probably, yeah. Okay, anyway. well now you've just pointed it out. So oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we're fine. Yeah, we um, <laughs> but it's <laughs> about yeah. Trump's early career. It's the best in Stan. Uh, Kendall Roy's in this. Um, so is Maria Bakalova. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I've been relatively hit or miss with Ali Abbasi. Like, I liked Holy Spider, but didn't love it. Um, and it's this seems like a pretty different yeah. kind of look. I, I don't know. Um, apparently, it's also going to look at McCarthyism as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I'm really mixed. I, I feel this one could go really 
either way. Yeah, uh, there's no way this is just like fine. It's either going to be like a train wreck or like really good. No, and even if it's polarizing, I still don't think I'd know which way I'd land. Yeah, the film. Uh, I like the cast. I've seen Jeremy Strong in anything, mm-hmm. so you know, yeah, it's always good to see him. Um, but yeah, this is this is definitely going to be an interesting one for sure. I don't think it'll be a player for the Palm d'Or. I don't think. No, I, 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 I would think be... it, I do get the sense it could be a bit polarizing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but who knows? Who knows? It's we'll a very see. Big question mark around this one. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, then we have Beating Hearts um, by Joe Lelou, is what I'm going to we'll say. Go with that pronunciation. That's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Adele Extra Coppolis is in this. That's cool. Uh, co-wrote with Audrey Dewan. Golden Lion winner for a Happening. Yeah. A story spends 20 years and begins in the northeast of France with two teenagers who fall madly in love. A girl from an upper middle class family and a boy from a working class family. Their love story is quickly doomed to failure when he ends up being a criminal and spends 12 years in prison. Um, Fascinating. This sounds interesting, actually. It, it, it does sound actually quite interesting. I mean, if this is like really, really good, I could definitely see Neon picking this up and it winning the palm. Because yeah. obviously, yeah, it is a rule, by the way, that you have to be a Neon movie um, yeah. to win the, the unspoken palm. Unspoken rule. That's the unspoken just how rule. it works. So yeah, that's why Neon don't have any campaigning money for the actual awards because they just they just all get made in the bomb door. They splash it all, yeah. They get a budget for the year and just splash it all at can. Yeah, and then end up winning the bomb door. Yep, yep, yep. Um, you have the Apprentice winning Best Picture because it's an election year and voters will vote for it. It's a swing. It's interesting logic. It's interesting logic. Yeah. Um. Let's I see. feel that that would tailor more for it being a player. I don't necessarily. Yeah, not. I don't know about winning, but we'll but see. Who knows? Okay, new Andrea Arnold. This is Andrea Arnold. I love Andrea Arnold. Fish Tank, American Honey, very good movies. This is Barry Keoghan, Franz Rogowski. Guess what, motherfuckers? They're gay. Um, yep. I'm hyped. I am yes. very, very excited. Like, we just know that it, it is gay, and it is Barry Keoghan and Franz Rogowski, and it is directed by Andre Arnold. Social realist kind of thing. Ken yes. Esque. Hopefully. Uh, at least. And yeah. 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 Definitely. Very excited to see Barry Keoghan and Franz Rogowski together in a film. And they're not too I'd picture together, but I'm very happy <laughs> to see it. I'm ready to picture. Um... Yeah. <laughs> it won't be that kind of film, I don't think probably be a tragic they're both horrible people i don't think franz wagowski or barry keegan play just play nice good guy. people yeah <laughs> so they're both gonna be horrible actually that's not fair barry keegan and banshees is just a a nice chap he's done yes it he's done it before yes but, yes well yeah. nice chap i wouldn't say i don't nice. know about nice harmless <laughs> <laughs> except to himself harmless am i right yeah uh <laughs> Um, not a um, no, still I don't think it's a love yeah. story between Keegan and Rogowski. Apparently, the kid playing Bailey is the lead. That makes sense. It does make sense. But either way, in supporting roles, yeah, great. All the more it. They still gay, to my knowledge. Um, so yeah, no, very very excited about this. Also interesting that so it's titled Bird, and that is the name of Rogowski's character. So. Oh yes, good spot. Could be interesting. Don't know what that implies, but yeah. Implies. Uh, Caught by the tides. This is by uh, Jia Zhongxi. Uh, I definitely mispronounced that, but like one of the greats uh, in Chinese filmmaking. Only seen a couple of films. Um, maybe only one. Only seen one or two. I haven't seen as many as I should have from him. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, early two thousand China. Um, a passionate but fragile love. Um, but then when uh, Guo Bin, I'm sorry, disappears to try his luck in another province. Um, just like to go looking for him. I mean, it's it's very can. It's very very can. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, Jia Zhongxi, like, sure, could be really good. Um, Emilia Perez, this is a new Jacques Ayadard film. Uh, or Adiard, is how you say his name. Um, I mean, you look at these awards. <laughs> <laughs> Paris Thirteenth District, good movie, very good movie. 
Um, so yeah, this could be fun. This could be really, really fun. A woman is tasked with uh, assisting an escaped Mexican cartel leader uh, undergo sex reassignment surgery to both evade the authorities and affirm her gender. So this could either be handled really well and be very, very good, or dog shit. Yeah, yeah, no, it's that kind of thing. I'm not sure about the concept. I'm really not sure about the concept. I, oh. It could be good. It could be really good. Could be, could be, if it's handled well. Heard this was filmed over a span of 25 years. This one? Really? Why is Interesting. It also, years? Zoe Saldana in the cast. Yes. And Selena Gomez. You spot that shit? Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, I assume it would be a cameo. She's is listed she? second. I think she's actually quite prevalent in the film. Oh, uh, really? I mean, she is an actress now. Like, only murders in buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, a quite random project for her to be involved in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll see. Um, the Girl with the Needle by Magnus Van Horn. Um, Copenhagen, Young Pregnant. Da, 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 words, words, words. Um, yeah, so it's dealing with like pregnancy, new merns, you know. Obviously, very touchy topics, particularly in uh, America. Um,. And uh, it's loosely based on a true story of Danish serial killer Dagmar Overby, who helped impoverished women kill their unwanted children and uh, was first sentenced to death in 1921, but was later changed to a lifetime in prison. Okay. okay. So, there's another one that's dealing with a lot of big topics and could either be very, like, handled very well or very, very poorly. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing with Can is they're mostly good films. Mostly generally. good films, yeah. It's the vibe. They're generally films that are above average at least you don't get many stinkers so i have some, hope for this but you don't get yeah to get also does does neon have anything going into the festival oh i don't know usually it's someone they pick up there anyway. yeah usually it, i mean that's what it's been yeah like or just the one they've got going in. but still yeah um she's been an actor since wizard of wazerly place in barney i doesn't count <laughs> I mean, yeah. Doesn't yeah. count. Um, Grand Tour by Miguel Gomez. Um, in Burma, in 1917, civil servant Edward abandons his fiancée, Molly, on the day they are to be married. He flees in a state of melancholy, contemplating Molly's condition, determined to be married. Molly uh, follows his trail. Uh, I mean, we know very little, but, I mean... And again, you know, just sounds very can. <laughs> it just sounds very, very can. Yeah. Um, kind of kindness. So this it's is interesting Yorgos. That this is in competition. Very uh, interesting. We have a trailer for this. I think it looks really, really good. Um, Thomas is not a Yorgos fan, so he does not. Uh... <laughs> no, I just thought the trailer was only selling on the fact that, look, here's you you liked poor things. Here's another one from the same guy. It didn't sell me on the film itself, really, at all. And maybe that's fine. But for me, I, as somebody who's not a massive fan of much of Yorgos's work, I didn't mind poor things. I thought it was his best film by quite a while. But, yeah, I'm not sold on this. It's anthology. I don't tend to love anthology films. Sure. Um, but, I mean, the cast is very good, but the cast is... I mean, yeah, look at this cast. Emma Stone, films. Jesse Plemons, Willem Dafoe, Margaret Qualley, Hong Chow, Joe Alwyn. Hope he's holding up well after the Taylor album. Uh, <laughs> Andrew J. Vermeer, I'm doing Yeah. Like, um, so I'm I'm hyped. I've heard Kind of Kindness described as hostile and almost three hours long. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Here for it. Feels Makes like me excited because it reminds me of early, yeah. early Yorgos. I mean, I love early Yorgos, like dog tooth fucks. Like, so. I'm not a fan. Not a fan, really. <laughs> but it's a vibe that a lot of people do take to. So, mm. you know. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't see this, like, winning the palm. But, um. No, no. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, then we got Liminov the Ballad. Um. This is the one where Ben Wishaw's in it, yeah? Yeah, Ben yeah, Wishaw yeah. as the lead, yeah. You've seen set uh, pictures. About the writer and politician crazy. Edward Liminov who founded the National Bolshevik Party. Um, yeah. Again, it seems very can. I don't think that they typically go for, like, biopic-type things. I mean, I'm excited for Ben Wishaw. I really, really like Ben Wishaw as an actor. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know if this will necessarily be... No, no. A standout. Again, it doesn't feel like a standout. That... Yeah, it might be punchy, whatever, but I don't yeah. think it will be one that people... Because, again, with Cannes, you get a lot that they're, like, really raved about. Like, last year, obviously, you got Anatomy and Zone. And yeah. those were, like, both 
90s zone came out of can i think it still has a hundred coming out of can or something right stupid yeah like that <laughs> you, so you get films that are just universally beloved and some of these films we mentioned so far i just don't think will get quite that appeal really for sure for sure uh marcelo mio um but an actress once ever she tells her substitute rather live her father's life she now dresses like him speaks like him breathes like him and she delivers it with such command that others around her begin calling her marcelo um curious to see it's a comedy so uh i don't know i'm curious to see just tonally how this functions yeah. um and uh one of the weirder concepts yeah movie. yeah it seems like something that i could really vibe with like if it's Again, depending on execution, which is just, yeah. it's, it, we sound like a broken record, but that it really is just the case with a lot of these types of things. Yeah. Um, Megalopolis. Okay. Obviously a lot to be known about this. And, and I do actually want to touch more on Megalopolis later uh, today, yeah. but um, I mean, like you look at the cast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Coppola. Uh, yeah. An accident Does destroys New York City. New York City, like Metropolis. Yeah. Already in decay, Caesar, an idealist, aims to rebuild the city as a sustainable utopia. Well, the venal mayor, Frank Cicero, uh, has other plans. Uh, coming between the opposing men and their visions is Frank's socialite daughter, Julia. Uh, tired of the attention and power she was born with, she searches for her life's meaning. I mean, it also is just kind of giving Metropolis the Fritz Long. Yeah, yeah, I sort of comment on that. Mm-hmm. Ah. Just these, like a lot of threads, a lot of quite vague threads mm-hmm. that doesn't fill me with confidence. I, if I was to put money on whether this film is good or bad, I I don't think you know. I think I it's gonna think flop, to but I think I'm gonna like it. Maybe it's that kind of thing. It like like I feel like this could be like our Babylon or our Bardo. To be honest, I don't I don't even think it'll be as good as those. To be honest. Really, I don't think it'll be as well received as, as even those. I reckon this could this could this could flop. I mean, it can. It might come out. Can doing fairly decently because people want this film to succeed. They yeah, like Francis Ford Coppola, but I think when this touches mainstream, it's gone. <laughs> sure, my theory sure, sure, sure. is how I think this film will pan out. Mega <laughs> I mean, Maybe. that's just what Variety is gonna say for like two months, I guess. Yeah. Um, (laughs) yeah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, last couple of things, uh, Motel Destino, so this is a new, uh, Karam Ainus, um, film, which I remember that name from something recently, what, Firebrand. Firebrand, yes. That's the thing, which I heard generally good things about, I think it was something that was positive. Um, it's a love story about a young man uh, on the run and a woman trapped in her abusive marriage. Very vague, very can. I There's yeah. just really nothing to go off of, to be honest, so we'll just kind of have to wait um, on this one. Oh, Canada. So this is the Paul Schrader. We Paul got Schrader Richard Gere yes. and Jacob Lordy playing two versus the same character. We got Uma Thurman. We got uh, Michael Imperioli. Um, I'm very interested by this. It's a, it's the life of a tormented writer on the brink of death, a Canadian-American leftist who fled to Canada to avoid the Vietnam War draft. This seems like something that I would really, really enjoy. Um, yeah, the one pro I can't see how Lordy and Gear is the same person. It this is a, this is an issue. Barring makeup, head. barring extensive makeup, <laughs> barring extensive makeup, which maybe those two still in my head they don't quite click. They're very different performers. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. But if the film does lack that cohesion, I think it could all fall apart at, at its sure. very foundation. So. But maybe if they work, um, I'm excited maybe. to see their performances and like just how they'll try to match. Yes, like yeah, just Jacob O'Leary. I'm not, I'm not sold on him. I like. I him I story. like his I, work. I I like I what I've seen from him. Didn't like him in Priscilla. Not I know liking you, him I did. Say his fault, but I didn't like him there. And I thought Saltburn. It was a very, it was quite an easy role for him. It was just. Be it hot. was just be hot, which is very good at being. Like, yeah, I'll do that. Cool. So, um, I'll see. We'll see with Jacob O'Lordy. I'm That's not fair. sold on the man's talent yet. That's fair. That's fair. Paul Schrader is but the worst. To... Why? What did he do? What did Paul do? I'm curious. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm excited, though. I'm excited, though. Like, just, it seems like a pretty political, like, contained thing. Like, uh, Paul Schrader, 
his last couple uh was what master gardener and then what was the one before that I can't, I can't remember. Oh, uh, it was oh, card the counter. casino one, card counter. Card counter, yeah. Both of those I thought were pretty middling, um, but first reformed is like excellent. So, so um, they were very hit or miss, maybe, but yeah. Who knows? Who knows? What yeah. Do. So I don't know. I'm excited though. I'm excited. Uh, let's see. We got Parthenope. This is the Paolo Sorrentino. Mm-hmm. It's uh, English language, I believe, or I maybe don't not. Think, I don't think it is. Is it I not? Think it is. But it Gary, Oldman, and, Gary Oldman yeah, is it, just being Italian? It says France and Italy. It does say, and it says language is Italian and Neapolitan. So Isn't that an ice cream? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I mean, yes, it is, but that's because it was made in. Oh, and this is also the language. Yeah, yeah. Damn, imagine if like the, we had just the ice cream flavor English. Um, yes, yes, I think that is, yeah. Probably does exist somewhere out there. Probably. Um, according to Tarantino, the film is about a, a woman named Parthenope who bears the name of her city, but is neither siren nor myth. Okay, pretentious description. Um, yeah, I really like the hand of God though. I like um, the hand of God. I I know a, a lot really of people cool. hated on it. I did like the hand of God. I mean, Paolo Sorrentino, obviously, very very talented filmmaker. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Got it to an extent, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, see Gary Oldman speak ice cream language. That'll be. I mean, unless Gary Oldman is speaking in English and he's like an English friend <laughs> who comes over. I don't know. Maybe he is speaking Italian. Maybe. Yeah. Just wouldn't put it past him. For sure, for sure. Interesting. Um. Okay, the shrouds. This is the new Cronenberg. I'm very excited. Uh, Discovery Cronenberg is the most personal film. Castle plays Cars, a grieving widower who builds an innovative device to help co- uh, people connect with the dead. I am a massive Cronin babe, okay? I, uh, absolutely adore Crimes of the Future. I think it is one of the best films of the decade. Um, I think that he is just one of the most innovative and interesting filmmakers alive, uh, <laughs> and he has been for, like, the last couple of decades, um i i mean you know i'm just sold on literally whatever this man wants to do so yeah i'm hyped i'm hyped but again his work is not for everyone so again it probably won't it it could be divisive you do you like cronenberg i've only seen very no i've not seen much of him i don't imagine the vibe i get from him i don't think would be for me okay 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 yeah because i know you didn't watch crimes of the future you have you seen videodrome uh no i've seen the fly Okay, got it, got it, got it. And the other crimes of the future, which you told me to watch, maybe. Oh, maybe I, I do that. vaguely remember this for our old podcast, which nobody, yeah. please, nobody go no, find. I don't think it exists anymore. I it like, probably but... doesn't exist on the internet, but yeah, that was awful though. That was one of the worst. Dude. I don't. That was just dreadful. Uh, I don't know what he was doing, but he was, enough, was a, a film. child. He I think. Shooting. Yeah, exactly. He was very young. But um, anyway, yes, he gives me the vibe of. Early Lynch. Early Lynch is my least favorite Lynch. Sure. So that's fair. Um, we the substance by uh, let's see, Coralie Fargate. It's very close to a slur. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's a body horror film uh, starring Demi Moore, um, a Phoebe Bridger song. Let's go, Margaret Qualley and Dennis Quaid. Um, have you noticed Dennis Quaid just looks like leather now? Oh, no. Like, he just looks like human leather. It's it's kind of funny. <laughs> sure, sure. Like, can I pull up? Sorry, tangent. I think it's Dennis Quaid. Hopefully, I'm not. Dennis Quaid I mean, now. I don't know if I'd entirely agree with you. I don't know if far off. He just looks leathery. <laughs> Like harsh accusations. Is it Jack Quaid that I'm thinking of? No, it's that. De- that no. No, it's, it's probably Dennis. It's I can Dennis. see the. I can see the vibe. Like he just looks like leather, and then he's dating like a 19 year old or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Dennis Quaid wife age difference. Laurie Savoy, I think would be her name. Wife age difference. How old? 39 year age gap. Okay, it's 39. not that young. But and six, again, six, 66, this, okay, 66 and 27. Yeah, I'm shockingly naive when it comes to nepotism. I did not realize Jack Quaid was, 
Yeah. The sign of Dennis. But yeah, of yeah. course, of course he is. It was the of same where I thought there were just a lot of scars guards walking about Hollywood. They just <laughs> I forgot this. You you had a moment. You had a I moment where realize, you're like, wait. I did not realize Alexander, Bill, and Stellan were all related. I did not realize that. I just compartmentalized each of them and thought, oh, there's a lot of, a lot of Scandinavian scars guards walking about in Hollywood. No, no. They're all related. <laughs> cool, they are. Of course they are. Oh my god. Sorry, something just happened. Crash is Cronenberg's best film. Crash is the worst film to win Best Picture. It's a horrible movie. Different movie, guys. Different. <laughs> David, <laughs> David Cronenberg did not make Crash the Best Picture movie. Uh, Crash by know. David Cronenberg should have won Best Picture. <laughs> Probably. What year was that? I don't know. 2000, I think. Yeah. Sure. We'd been over Gladiator. Yeah, fuck it. Um, or, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That would, uh, <laughs> no, we all know Traffic would have been, it would have been the real one. I like Traffic. No one I have not seen Traffic. traffic. I, I want to so. get Traffic more into the conversation. Everyone talks about Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> no one talks about Traffic. <laughs> the one guy who shows up to the function. Let's talk about Traffic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just want to get its name. Right? Pulling up to the function with my Traffic DVD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, I should watch it. I really should. Yeah, you should. You won't like it. <laughs> it's it's along the same veins as late nineties, early two thousands Oscar bait that you hate. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe I shouldn't watch it. I don't know. No, I, I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Cronenberg <laughs> made the car sex movie, not the racism movie. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. We have Demi Moore. I mean, here let, we can describe this better. We have the Phoebe Bridger song, um, Jack Antonoff wife, and Leatherman. And Leatherman. Okay. Cool. Glad we got that. And the film's plot is relevant. I don't see it anywhere. No. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> it lacks substance. <laughs> <laughs> I die immediately as soon as humanly possible. Um, yeah, that's true. I uh, it immediately. <laughs> anyway, and then we have a wild diamond. Uh, Leanne lives with her mother and sister in thing that I'm not going to try to pronounce. She's obsessed uh, with her physical appearance and dreams of becoming famous. Eventually, she discovers reality TV as a possible springboard for her career. Leanne gleefully responds to a casting call from Miracle Island. Uh, seems interesting. Seems fun. Um, coming of age drama film. Uh, yeah. I could be here for it. I'm not familiar with any of the people involved, and none of them have Wikipedia pages. Um, no. but I would love for this to be like a breakout thing, if it is. Yeah. No, 100%. Okay. Anything jump out to people? That is a can lineup. If we're gonna, okay, let's do. What do we think gonna win Palm Door? And we can have one thing. We can't name. Top three. Just gotta go for one. What do you go for? I mean. What do I see most likely getting picked up by Neon? Uh, I mean, Parthenope would be an easy one, but they have been going for, like, younger directors. I'm going to go Beating Heart. The concept sounds would... interesting. It's French. Yeah. They like French stuff, usually, because it's from France. I might go All We Imagine is Light. Okay. Interesting. I don't, I don't think it'll be any of the big ones. I don't know. Like, like, I, I don't think like, like you don't shouldn't be predicting Bird. like Bird, The Apprentice. Kind of yeah, Megalopolis no. kind of kindness. Uh, I mean, even like O Canada, The Shrouds. I no. mean, no. Bird, Bird, Bird could. I could see Bird. I could. could see Bird. I, don't, I don't. I I mean, who knows? But I it wouldn't be the first one that I choose. Um. Yeah. Question sure. is, which is going to be Zone of Interest? This is yeah, zone of interest. I'll say Liminov just because. Um, Bird does not have a distributor. If it wins from the Neon, to pick it up, that's a good see. Bird. Uh, Anora is already being distributed by Neon. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, that's something they've got going on. Okay, okay. Very interesting. I mean, I'd love to see Sean Baker win the Palm. That would be brilliant. I yeah, love, I just, love, love Sean yeah. Baker. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it's surely going to be one of the more un- unknowns, I guess. Yeah, 